Hey guys, welcome to this week's commentary. You might notice that I have a different shirt on. Well, that's because it is almost August and I am not wearing that girl's hoodie anymore because I almost had a goddamn heat stroke. Also, I know my eyebrows are fucked up. That's because my dad offered to do them for once and you see how that went. This week's commentary is on anti-feminist YouTuber Kevin Landy who... Do I really need to say any more? Let's just fucking start it. What's up, YouTube? This is Ali Kyler. Why is your bed like that? Like, it's called set dressing. People are gonna notice. Clearly I did. It looks like you live in a fucking meth house. And this is the anti-modern feminist. God, this is gonna be a dumb video. In this video, I'm gonna tell you the three things that I've learned from modern feminism. No, he's gonna tell you three things he learned from the fucking men's rights subreddit. Number one. Do not compliment a woman. Why? She will victimize herself. Uh, Even though we're constantly told by women... We are? Okay. Um, just you making that statement makes it a fact. Alright, I get it. A few days ago, I complimented my female manager on the way she looked. I told her she looked nice. She victimized herself by saying, well, apparently I don't look nice every other day. Day? So I'm just gonna take a shot in the dark and say that you work in retail, which is probably one of the most stressful jobs a person can have. So you're really going to be upset that somebody who is a business manager in fucking retail wasn't in a good mood to be complimented. And then of course you're always going to get the random rebuttal about how, oh, women are being oppressed because the first thing people notice about women is their appearance. Hey, guess what? Women are oppressed. How do you know that the reason that women spend so much time on their appearance isn't because society puts so much pressure on, on them to look a certain way? Dropped it. Number two. Yes, you are. Regardless of the issue, if it involves women, and the women are victims... He's gonna talk about the fucking Santa Barbara shootings, isn't he? Regardless of how many men are victims... A guy, a couple months ago or so... Just fucking say it, I know you're going to who pulled out a gun because he was rejecting and can never get laid. That was such a gross oversimplification, I feel like I'm watching a fucking Star Trek The Next Generation movie. He goes by the initials of ER. You know, I never thought I would hear somebody talk about the Santa Barbara shootings who has fucking Homestar Runner's voice. This guy was a misanthrope. He was a sociopath and he was also a goddamn misogynist. There is no getting around this. He, he hated all of humanity. You know, you can have more than one kind of fucked up belief. It's crazy, right? He thought himself to be this divine being, this wonderful god, and everybody must respect him. You have as much on-camera charisma as goddamn Linkara. But no, the only thing that modern feminists care about is they killed a few women. The untimely deaths of the Santa Barbara shooting victims is a tragedy, but the reason this is a feminist issue is because of the motivation behind it. He had a long-ass video and wrote pages upon pages upon pages about how women were inferior to men and how they should be put into concentration camps where they do nothing but give birth until they die. If that isn't misogyny, I don't know what the fuck it is. Regardless of the fact that there were more male victims than female... Are you seriously trying to devalue the deaths of someone? Like, are you fucking serious right now? What really matters is that a few women were victims. He specifically targeted a goddamn sorority house. How are you trying to get around this? The guy was racist. You can be racist and misogynist. It's not like a fucking point-and-click adventure where you can only hold one item. By the way, I've been playing the Walking Dead games and they're so good. He was not a misogynist. He was not a racist. He was a misanthrope. You are using literally every other term in the fucking psychological textbook to define this dude besides misogynist. Is it because you're afraid to open up a discussion about misogyny and how there are some serious gender issues in our society? Because you're afraid to talk about it because it makes you uncomfortable? Because you're some kind of pussy? He hated all of humanity. I can literally smell the reddit coming off of you. People might say, well, he hated all of humanity, therefore he was a mis misogynist. Misogynist. Modern feminists have turned that into a gendered issue. YES, ALL WOMEN! The fact that you're treating that hashtag like it's something to be made fun of and like it's a joke makes you a fucking misogynist. What is wrong with you? Oh yeah. Let me tell you about that. Don't. You know, you know that most of these victims were men, right? Yeah, more men ended up dying, but he went out to do the shooting because of his misogyny. He literally pulled his car up to a sorority house. Like, I've said this like 50 shit zillion times in this video and... Oh my god. 
thought he was entitled to people of other races and- He also thought he was entitled to women's bodies, which he literally wrote about in his fucking manifesto, which you have not mentioned once. You know he wanted to enslave people of other races, oh, but no, 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 let's all forget about that. Yeah, let's also forget about how he specifically wrote about women being in concentration camps just to give birth until they die. Oh, God. Number three. If you are a female, and you are having a discussion with somebody, and they disagree with you, it is completely okay to call them a misogynist. Okay, just saying having a discussion with somebody is such a broad thing, like, there is literally an infinite amount of discussions a person can have, so please tell me, what discussion were you having that made the other person call you a misogynist? Because I want to know so I can tell you how stupid you are. Also, extremists do not define an entire group. Which you guys are going to see in like a couple weeks when I do another commentary, just... That is the third thing I have learned from Mar Pimmons. No, it's like the third thing you learn from fucking green text stories on r k Holy shit, I can't... So, if you like the video... I didn't. Like it? I'm not going to. If you want me to see more... I don't. Subscribe? I'm not going to. I'll be uploading more soon. Please don't. Peace out. Eat my ass.